Hey guys, it's Mary Charlotte and I'm outside of my pool today and I'm just going to be showing you some do's and don'ts for waterproof makeup and I'm going to be showing you this waterproof makeup tutorial. Um, it's not very bright or anything, sorry about the birds, but it's not like super out there or anything because if you wear a lot of makeup to the pool or the beach, it's just going to sweat off your face. And this makeup look is great because I include some products that aren't waterproof, but if they do get wet, it's not going to be a big deal if they come off. And I do include some other waterproof makeup items, so yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy the do's and don'ts for waterproof makeup and the tutorial, so let's get started. Share some tips to make your waterproof makeup last longer. I found a lot of these tips online, so I thought I would share them with you all. So these are just some do's and don'ts of wearing waterproof makeup. So don't use a heavy thick moisturizer before applying your makeup because that'll just make you really oily and sweaty and it'll just make your makeup sweat off a lot easier. So do use a very light oil-free moisturizer if you feel the need to moisturize. So if you have oily skin, you can probably just skip moisturizing if you're going out in the sun. But I wouldn't recommend skipping moisturizer altogether if you have oily skin, you still need to moisturize anyways. But um, if you have really dry skin, then you just need to use a really light oil-free moisturizer. Don't rub your face with a towel when you're drying off because it'll just smear all your makeup. But do gently blot water or sweat from your face with a towel so you don't disturb or smear your makeup. So that's pretty self-explanatory. Just don't like rub your face or your eyes and stuff. Don't pile heavy colored powders to absorb moisture. You will have a cakey mess. So, um, you just don't want to keep caking on the makeup. I would recommend taking oil blotting sheets and just blotting your face with those. So yeah, and so do use oil papers to absorb excess oil or sweat without distributing makeup. Do you carry makeup removing cloths in case you need to remove your makeup or and start again. So basically, you should just carry some mini makeup removing wipes in your beach bag or your pool bag. They sell them in practically every brand in just a mini size. Most makeup wipes come with 30, and I think you can buy some with like five or 10. I know that Yes to Cucumbers line does, and I know that Pond's does. I think Neutrogena does, I'm not sure. But yeah, you just need to carry some small makeup wipes so that you can clean up, like if you wear eyeliner and it gets down, or like, um, mascara and that so you can clean up and the last tip is do carry some makeup if you need touch-ups and that's really optional you don't have to carry your makeup if you don't want to do touch-ups for all my do's and don'ts with waterproof makeup and let's get on to the tutorial Starting out, I'm taking the Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream, and I love this because it has SPF 35, and if your BB Cream doesn't have SPF, be sure to put on sunscreen beforehand. Next, taking the NYX Incredible Waterproof Concealer, I'm putting this under my eyes and on any blemishes that I have so that they can stay concealed when I'm in the water. Now I'm taking a kabuki brush and my favorite powder. You can use whatever kabuki brush and powder you want. I would recommend if you're traveling, if you're going to the pool or something, to take a retractable kabuki brush so that bacteria doesn't get on the brush hairs. But I'm just putting this all over my face to mattify it and make me not look so sweaty and oily. Now I'm taking the NYX Rouge Cream Blush in the color Boho Chic and putting that on my cheekbones for a rosy glow. I especially love cream blush for the summer because it stays on a whole lot longer than powder blush will. Now I'm taking the color tattoo from Maybelline Metal Eyeshadow in Barely Branded and putting that all over my eyes to brighten and give some shimmer. 
These color tattoos from Maybelline are so great for the summer because they're waterproof and you don't need a brush. Now I'm taking the color tattoo in bold gold and working that into the crease of my finger. Now I'm taking a brighter color tattoo. I would recommend using the purple one or painted purple if you have blue or green eyes and the green or edgy emerald if you have brown eyes. Because I have blue eyes, I'm putting the painted purple one on my lower lash line. And I forgot to bring a brush outside, but I would recommend using a brush if you can. I would take an eyeliner brush to apply this. But if you don't have an eyeliner brush, you can use your finger like I'm doing here. Now I am curling my eyelashes with my Trima Eyelash Curler. I love this eyelash curler so much. Now I'm applying the Tarte Lights Camera Splashes Waterproof Mascara to only my upper lashes. If you apply it to your lower lashes, it's way more prone to smear and smudge. So I'd recommend just putting it on your upper lashes. I love this mascara because it gives a really natural look. Now I'm taking the EOS Lip Balm in Lemon Drop. This has SPF 15, which is why I love it so much because then your lips won't get sunburned. And I'm just putting that all over my lips to cancel out any dryness. Now I'm taking Benetint from Benefit and putting this all over my lips for a nice rosy stain. And that's the completed makeup look. Hey guys, so as you can see, the makeup hasn't run at all. Um, if I wipe under my eyes, I didn't get anything and yeah, so I hope this was helpful. So that was my tutorial and my do's and don'ts for waterproof makeup. I hope this video was really helpful and that you guys enjoyed it. I hope you all have a really fun summer and yeah, I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.